one. I thought I'd just do an update. Um, Christmas Eve update, me and Tank on uh, just uh, COVID symptoms and just wishing everyone a Merry Christmas. Right, Tank? Yeah. Um, so I've been on here in a few weeks and um, I posted those other two videos because I have received a few messages um, that I never had COVID. So that's why I posted those other two ones. And I noticed also, like I talked about like my veins being dilated like early on. So that's why I posted it. So um, I don't know why anyone would think I didn't have COVID. So those were two videos I posted from April of 2020 um, before. So anyway, I just thought, <laughs> I thought I'd give an update on how I'm doing. Um, so last week I worked really hard at work. I was trying to get everything done. Um, just, I worked harder than I have, I think in like a very long time. And uh, I started feeling really under the weather but I didn't realize when I was feeling under the weather that I had gotten allergic reaction and felt really sick because a spider bit me um, on the cheek. It can't, and it's, it's pretty much gone. I went to the um, urgent care this past weekend, but um, we put me on antibiotics, but it started going away right after. So I didn't take them, but anyway, um, yeah, I thought I had COVID again you know, the variants going around. I felt so sick, the fatigue, the nausea, like my head just felt like my mind, my thoughts were just spinning. And then I realized like, oh my gosh, look at my cheek. This is not a pimple. I got bit by a spider and had allergic reaction, I think because of the histamines. So all those horrible symptoms I had last Wednesday for I felt really, really sick. And I thought I had COVID again it was from the spider bite. But anyway, on to this week, like I've had time, like I don't have school this week I'm not working this week and I just had time to like relax and it's I think I have a, I had like a horrible flare-up with just fatigue I don't know exactly why but I had a horrible 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 flare-up with just extreme extreme fatigue and I'm starting to feel better tonight that's how I could film this but like um my my heart was fine it's just, I mean, it's the same as it's been, not fine, but it's been the same, but um, I don't know. It was, uh, the fatigue has just been really, really bad. And then it plays with your mind. I'm sure anyone knows this that's had COVID, like you start thinking you're sick again. And I have some people right now in my family that have COVID that weren't, um, people that weren't, well, not a couple, like one person, we don't know if the rest of the family, but the one person that wasn't vaccinated. Um, just got COVID. So, you know, then I start to worry that I have it when it's just extreme fatigue that comes and goes. Um, my fatigue since Marabba Rock pretty much went away for the most part, unless I was like extending myself way too much and doing way too much. And um, I don't know, this week relaxing and it just came out like extreme fatigue. Like I'd be out, um, I tried to go out with a few friends and I'd be like, I'm so sorry. I said this beforehand because I know how my body is. I'm like, don't take offense. I just don't um, feel good. You know, I just feel exhausted and I'm going to have to go home soon. And true friends understand that. They know that you're not being rude or anything. They get that you're not feeling good. Um, but yeah, uh, my heart's been the same. You know, my heart's been... Uh, Decent. I went to the allergist. Um, the, the update I was going to have. Went to the allergist on um, was it yesterday? And they did a urine catch for histamines that we're doing this weekend and like a trip phase. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. But I know that histamines are hard to catch even in the blood or urine, right? Because they only last a few seconds. If I'm right, I. So um, yeah, we'll see about that. We'll see when those tests come back, um, probably the end of next week because they get sent out to see how that is from the allergist. But my allergist said that everything I'm describing sounds like mast cell activation. So he's 
Um, so yeah, we'll see. I just good to have proof if they, you know, they test me for that and it all comes back like that it's positive. So I know that, you know, like really I'm having an allergic reaction to histamines. Um, but I don't know how everyone else feels, but like right now I'm just scared of like getting COVID again, even though I'm like vaccinated and I'm a long hauler. It's just so, it's so bad right now. Like even when I'm just tired or have the sniffles cause I'm always congested, but I'm always afraid. I'm always afraid. I'm like, oh my gosh, I have it again. So I have to stop thinking that, you know? Um, so yeah, I, I was just going to say, like, I hope everyone has a nice holiday. I'm thinking of all of us long haulers out there, you know, and um, I really hope that this year for all of us that have been suffering for so long, that this year, maybe we'll see a light at the end of the tunnel. Um, I'm hoping that some new procedures come out, especially the ones that come to the US to help us with microclotting that I've been hearing about, um, especially us with POTS. I'm hoping that helps. Like mine isn't as debilitating as it once was. And hey, I'm not on any medication really for the most part right now, you know, for my heart. I take a uh, propanolol as needed, which is pretty much never. So I can honestly say like, it's great that I'm not on a heart medication right now. And then I can manage a lot of it through diet and just pacing myself. But there's times, like I said, like this past week where I was just like, it hits me because I get so tired. And then I get like the muscle twitches right before bed. And I know that's just like my body, like my muscles not doing well. And anyway, so it really, really be nice for all this just to go away in 2022. I know that's wishful thinking and probably won't happen, but I'm just going to put that out into the universe before next year. And, um, and this has nothing to do with COVID, but I, I would really like, come here, Tanky. Come here. Um, he doesn't want me to pick him up. This little cutesy right here, um, tank, it would be nice. Like, I feel bad. He's so lonely. It would be nice to get him a little, uh, female friend because he gets along with little girl dogs, get him a little rat terrier or a chihuahua and get another little doggy friend, right tank? Yeah, that would be, that would be nice. Right? So yeah, we were just wishing everyone a good Christmas and that I hope everyone is doing well and that I'm just, I'll be on here in a week or so, but I just hope everyone has, um, I hope this, this new year coming up has more research for us long haulers and that it's a, a better, better year all in all because it's everyone getting COVID right now too. I think about all the new cases and I just hope we don't, I don't, I feel bad if there's a lot of the new long haulers coming out there because I don't wish this upon anyone, you know? So, all right, well, me and Tank, we'll talk to you soon. And uh, like I said, have a nice Christmas. Bye.